Welcome back to Lunch Break. I'm Tanya Rivero. Among wine connoisseurs, one of the most frequently asked questions is, when should I drink this? And as WSJ wine columnist Letty Teague is here to tell us, the answer can range from the specific to the vague. Right, Letty? The vague. That's where people get, that's where, that causes a lot of anxiety, right? That vague drinking window. Is it that does. right? It does. In a certain class of drinkers, yeah. yes. <laughs> even, even though probably the vast majority of people would answer the, the question of when to drink it is right now. Right. And, and clearly, <laughs> yeah. that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much. Cheers for bringing Cheers. this wine. Now, how Cheers. important, though, is it, especially when you've got an expensive bottle of wine, to figure out the drinking window? You know, because of that, because of, you know, um, for someone that's, that's, you know, read reviews, you know, checked out scores, decided, you know, they've purchased this wine for a special occasion, you know, that's where the question comes in, comes in you know, when do I drink this? And, and that's where the subject drinking windows, which is the term, you know, used in the trade of, of you know, a range of years at which the, the wine is at its, at its peak, at its peak at its optimum. Right. You know. And so for instance, this wine that you brought. Okay, this wine. I decided to focus on on white wines because people don't really think of white wines as even having drinking windows. They think that they're like, you know, drink now. And yes. and certainly they don't think of Muscadet as being a wine that has a, a, a actually rather broad um, drinking window. I'm not talking about the commercial ten dollar stuff that but this wine made by Domaine de la Pepier is actually um, uh, this really you know, an intense, intensely mineral you'll 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 find it when you taste it. Mm. You know, it's a very com a complex delicious. wine. And mm. and it's a wine that could age for ten or fifteen years. Mm. And so you know, there's actually a, a retailer where I purchased it said this this wine drinks well until 2025. And, and so, so what goes into determining a wine's drinking window? I, well, certainly the the history of the estate. You have to you know it has to have a track record in order for you to to you know be able to see how well the wine ages. And um, and and certainly you know it has to have certain characteristics. It, you know this wine has a, a lot of acidity, terrific acidity, mouthwatering mm. acidity. Um, it has to, so it, it, it needs structure. And, and, and that applies to red and white wines. So there has to be enough, you know, enough stuffing, I guess, so to speak, of the wine for it to for it to to hold together, you sure. know, and, and not just hold together, but actually improve. And, and that, so, but some critics and merchants prefer not to give drinking windows. Why is that? I think because it's also it's such a it's such a um, a taste preference kind mm -hmm. of thing. So I think you know people people like you know young wines. I mean, people like that really bright, rich, opulent delicious fruit. So I think that some people are, some critics and merchants might be hesitant to counsel waiting, you know, lest the wine actually, dim, you know, because fruit does fade over time. Sure. And, and also they, there's an inexactitude, of course, because, you know, they're, they're different bottles can age differently, same producer, same vintage, everything. And, and you know, um, and when in doubt, it's probably the best advice is to drink young. You well, know. that's what I was going to ask you. If, you. if you are not sure you should open your bottle of wine sooner rather than later, is right. all lost if you've passed the drinking window? You know, I had an experience. I had, I, I, I tasted a wine just last week. It was a, a great Super Tuscan, and I was on the last year of the of this critic's drinking window. And, and, you know, he was actually pretty right. Like, if I'd waited another year, it probably would have gone downhill. So, so now Soon, is the time. Well, thank you so much for bringing this Cheers. wine. This has been so delicious. Thank you so much, My Letty. Pleasure. And we're all ready for the 4th of July holiday, clearly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the red, white, and blue.